Creating a booking page like this one could be really helpful for your business if it's service-based and you either want to offer free or paid calls or internally at your own company if you want colleagues and coworkers to be able to book time with you. To get started, just make your way to Google Calendar. I want people to be able to book me between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. for coaching calls. So I've clicked and dragged between 9 and 5. Then I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to put one-to-one -one coaching sessions and I'm going to move along here to appointment schedule and just click here to say to set up the schedule. Using appointment schedule in Google Calendar is a great alternative to something like Calendly and obviously it's included if you're already paying for workspace as well. Over on the left hand side is where we're going to do all of the setup of our booking page. The first thing we're going to want to do is choose the appointment duration. Now for me these are going to be paid coaching sessions that are one hour long each so I'm going to leave that at one hour. Then we want to choose how often this appointment schedule is able to be booked. So right now I've clicked and dragged it on a Tuesday. I'm going to click this plus next to a Wednesday and you see it will automatically copy across those times that I've selected. So for me now, I'm going to end up with these three slots and I can choose whether this is just one off, i.e. it doesn't repeat at all. It repeats weekly, which is probably the most likely if it's an ongoing thing. Or you can go to custom and you can choose which days and how long for it will repeat. I'm going to leave mine as it is here. Obviously double check the time zone, particularly if you're working with customers or team members that are in different time zones. And then the scheduling window is really important. This is going to allow you to set how soon and how far in advance people can book. So right now it says available now. That's good because I want it to start from today where I've dragged this time out. And then it says maximum time in advance that an appointment can be booked. So I want people to book at the most two months ahead. So 60 days is about right. And then a minimum time before the appointment starts. Now four hours for me is too short. I probably need at least a day's notice. So to make sure all bases are covered, I'm going to put 36 hours in here. So that means when someone goes to the booking page, even if I have free slots available today, they won't be able to book a slot until 36 hours from the moment that they're looking at that booking page. One thing I think is super important to set is your buffer time. It's unlikely that you want real back-to-back -back calls. You probably want at least five minutes, maybe 10 minutes buffer time in between. For me, I want to have 30 minutes clear for each slot that is bookable in my calendar. So that's what I'm going to put in here. And also I would be fried if I tried to take on eight one hour coaching sessions every day. So I'm going to set a maximum bookings per day here of just two. So that means once two have been booked through this page, no one else will be able to book again for that specific day. And I've also got the option to allow guests to invite others or not. Now, I tend to keep this on because it doesn't necessarily mean that someone will invite someone different. It might be they realize they've used their work address rather than their personal one, and this just allows them to add it. But you could turn this off if you're worried about security or people are paying and you don't want them to bring someone along for free. Down here, then, I've got the option to choose which calendars Google will look at in order to decide which times I'm actually free. Right now, what you're seeing is all of the appointments that I already have on my calendar with this overlaid on top. But I actually also have an events calendar that we use and I need to be available for all of those events. So I don't want people to be able to book over that event time. And you can see now on Thursday, that block is unavailable for people to book those coaching calls. Finally, on this page, we have a co-host section. So if I want someone to be added to every appointment that someone books with me, perhaps it's a workshop with two presenters, for example, or maybe you're an assistant and you're setting this up on someone else's behalf, you'd want to put their email address in here for them to be added to the calendar invite automatically. For me, I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to click next now to get to the second page here. And the first thing I want to double check is just how my name and picture is going to appear. On your booking page, it's going to use the picture that you have set as your Google profile picture and the name on your account as well. Below that, you've got the option for conferencing. This doesn't have to be for online meetings. It can also be for in person and you can add location information if you choose that. For me, I'm going to keep it to a Google Meet but you could also choose phone call or specify something completely different. The Google Meet integration is great because it will automatically create the link to the call. I need to do nothing. We both just turn up at the time, click, and then we're into Google Meet. Next, we can put in a description. This is going to be a description that appears on the booking page itself, but also in the calendar invite when the person gets sent it. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste in one that I've already got. And obviously, you can format this however you want. In here, you might want to include some key details about whether they need to turn up before the appointment, maybe how to join a call if you're not using Google Meet, or some more general information about what they need to prepare before they come to your appointment. Now, crucially, you're going to want to capture some information about the people that are booking your service or the meeting 
meeting with you and you do that through a form once they've selected a time on the booking page. So by default, it's gonna ask for their first name, last name and email address, but you can also add your own custom items as well. So I'm gonna click add an item, go over here to where it says phone number, which is one of the preset ones. I'm gonna choose custom item and I'm just gonna type, tell me a little more about what you're hoping to get from this coaching session. I want to make sure everyone who books an appointment submits this. So I'm gonna tick the required checkbox here, choose add item. And then you've got the option to require email verification here, which will send the person an email for them to confirm that they're a real person. That's probably not needed, but if you're posting this somewhere very public, then it's worth doing just to avoid spammy applications. Next, if you want to collect payment, this is where you're gonna do it. This needs to be enabled by your administrator. So if you don't see this option, that's probably why. And to take payment, you need to set up a Stripe account. If you've already got one, you can just link that account here. And as people make payments, it will automatically be deposited into Stripe. There's also space here for your cancellation policy. For this demo, I'm just gonna keep this as free. And then the final thing that I can set up is down here, the booking confirmations and reminders. So do I want people to receive an email reminder before the session? And if so, when do I want them to receive it? By default, they'll get one a day before. I'm also gonna add another one here, an hour before their session to remind them. And you can keep adding more reminders if you want, though I feel like it might get on people's nerves if we send too many. So I click save and it's now showing me the complete appointment schedule here where I can see the details, what that looks like. And if I scroll through my calendar to other days, this blue stripe down the side doesn't take up much space, but that tells me that there's an appointment schedule there. So let's preview what this looks like for someone booking a slot with you now. I need to make sure I've clicked that strip to bring up this box here and then choose open booking page. Here's what that booking page looks like for an end user. You can see this week there's only one slot available at 9 a.m. Up at the top of the screen here, they can look at more details from the description that you put in. It tells them it's a 60 minute appointment and that it's gonna be a Google Meet conference as well. If the time in this week doesn't work, they can use the arrows to scroll along to future weeks or just pick a date from the picker on the left-hand side and then choose a time. When they click on a time, they get the booking form pop up. If they're logged into a Google account, it will already have populated their name and email address and so they just need to answer the other questions that you might have put in and then they can book. And obviously, if you've set up payments, that would be taken at this stage as well. Maybe you've got a website you want to embed this on or you just want the link to be able to send this page out to people. Up at the top of the preview screen here, you can click on share and it gives you these two options. The first is a single booking page and getting the link to that. But if you have multiple booking pages, maybe people can select different lengths of a haircut, for example, you could actually choose to show them all booking pages. And if you've added multiple appointment schedules to your Google Calendar, they would be able to see one page that shows all of those appointment schedules. They choose the one that they want and then go through and book on that page. Alternatively, you can choose the website embed. Same options here, but this time, you've got a couple of choices about how it will appear on your website. You can either choose a button that's gonna look like this, or you can have the whole booking page like we've just seen it on the screen here embedded into your website. If this video was helpful, give it a like, and don't forget you can subscribe to my free weekly newsletter to get a tip directly to your inbox. The link's in the description.